So I've always loved those old engineering drafts. You know the ones. They almost looked like blueprints for things. I wanted to teach myself how to draft. You know what I'm talking about. Like you'd see in the US patent filings. Like this, or this. This is a story about that. The first thing I would need would be drafting tools. These are called French curves, basically just different radius curves to trace around. My plan was to find a good image I could make vector pads around in Illustrator, but it just so happened someone already did, and I found a free AI file online. I'll link to it in the description. With those taken care of, I went into SketchUp and drew out two drafting triangles, a 45-45-90 and a 30-60-90 triangle. Once I had my designs, I headed over to Easel to get ready to cut the shapes out in acrylic on my X-Carve Larry from Inventables. Easel makes it really easy to move the pieces around and resize and rotate them to make them all fit to get the most yield out of the material. If you're interested in learning more about Easel or the X-Carve, I'll put affiliate links in the description. So if you've been thinking about pulling the trigger on one of these machines, using my link helps out the channel a lot. To mount the acrylic to the spoil board, I used that old favorite trick of using masking tape and CA glue. This is a good way to mount since there are so many small parts that would otherwise be hard to clamp down, and I didn't want to use tabs in my G-code. Once mounted, I started up the X-Carve and followed the on-screen prompts to get cutting. For this cut, I used a 16th inch spiral bit and a feed rate of 60 inches per minute. After about 20 minutes, the cut was done, and I was fully expecting to have to clean up the cuts at the sander, but they came out really smooth, which was a nice surprise. With my new drafting tools in hand, it was time to teach myself how to draft. A few online searches led me to a lot of great videos on how engineers draft. I thought I'd start with one of my favorite tools, the Stanley Bedrock No. 604 Smoothing Plane. Not only is it a simple enough tool, it's small enough that I can draw it to full scale on a regular piece of graph paper. I would go through each part of the plane and take measurements, then place points on the graph paper to reference off of. Once I had enough points, I would take a French curve and try to find the place on the curve that matched my points. I was surprised at how easy it was to make a really good rendering of the actual object just by being methodical and taking my time to plot my points and connect the dots. In no time at all, I had a really good representation of a Bedrock 604. From there, I scanned in my pencil drawing into Photoshop and traced my pencil lines with the pen tool to make vector paths around my drawing. After finessing the image a bit and stylizing it, I had this digital image. I posted it on Instagram asking if I should turn it into a t-shirt, and a lot of people said that I should, so if you'd like one, they are now available on my website. 
I'm pretty happy with how my first drafting project turned out, and I fully plan on making a nice tabletop drafting table in the future, with storage for my drafting tools, and an adjustable tilting top, and maybe even a horizon line for drawing perspective. Let me know what you guys thought of this woodworking adjacent project, or if you've ever drafted before. Oh, and as always, thanks for watching.